do your spending habits have catastrophic implications? Don't look away. Over 68 billion chickens are slaughtered each year globally, and it's rising. In the UK alone, more than a billion individuals are exploited on UK farms and slaughtered annually. Chickens urgently need our help. Slaughtered from six weeks old, broiler chickens can reach up to four kilos. That has quadrupled their weight compared to the 1950s. At from eight to 10 weeks, the pullets being reared for egg production are ready to be transferred. Selectively bred to maximize profits, the scale of their suffering is beyond what most of us could imagine. This is not a story of natural selection, it is one of greed and misery. Their weight is simply too heavy to carry, leaving them prisoners in their own bodies. 30% of chickens bred for meat suffer from lameness, causing chronic pain and immobility. They are often left to starve to death if their hearts haven't already given up under the immense strain. Over 95% of chickens live on intensive farms, but Animal Justice Project has revealed that free range is no better. Major overcrowding and lack of stimulation leads to high levels of stress, causing aggressive behaviours and competition between birds for food, water and space. Injuries are left untreated and millions die on farms before they even reach six weeks old. Birds are left in filthy and sodden farm sheds as their faeces build up. They develop agonising sores and blisters due to prolonged contact with ammonia that also burns their lungs and causes respiratory distress. Living in such squalor brings the need for antibiotics. Entire flocks are mass medicated through their food and water to reduce internal parasites and ensure faster weight gain. Antibiotic resistance has been described as one of the biggest threats to global health. Over 700,000 humans die from antibiotic resistant bugs every year. What's this got to do with animal agriculture? Over 50% of antibiotics used in the UK are given to farmed animals. Bacteria becomes resistant when antibiotics are taken over a long period of time and we are already seeing the effects. 40% of E. coli bacteria in the UK are now resistant to antibiotic drugs, causing human deaths from formerly treatable illnesses such as food poisoning. It is predicted that 10 million humans will die every year as a result of antibiotic resistance by 2050. Minor health conditions and surgery will soon become life-threatening, all to increase animal agriculture's profits and satisfy consumers' demand for meat. Filthy broiler farms are the perfect incubator for infectious diseases, with three quarters of emerging diseases originating in animals. Avian influenza, bird flu, is already taking human lives, and billions of chickens globally have been killed as a result. The Spanish flu, originating from birds, infected and killed 50 million humans. For the sake of our future, we urgently need to reject animal farming. Animal agriculture is accelerating the climate crisis and damaging ecosystems. Nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas contributing 300 times more to global warming than carbon dioxide. Produced in chicken feces, this gas contaminates soil and waterways via runoff from intensive farms. Excess nitrogen causes algae to overgrow, blocking sunlight from aquatic plants and depleting the water of oxygen. Bodies of water become unable to sustain life, so water-dwelling animals die. For the planet's survival, we must stop funding this mass destruction urgently. Next time you are in the supermarket or restaurant, remember that your choices have global implications. From antibiotic resistance, pandemics, to environmental disasters, to deaths of sentient beings. A few minutes of pleasure at the dinner table causes unfathomable suffering for chickens. To you it's a meal, to them it's their entire existence. We urgently need to change our habits. Time is running out. If we don't act now, the consequences will be off the scales. It's time to make a difference. Purchase plant-based products instead for a kind and sustainable future.